Good morning. I am so glad to introduce you to Tracy. But the thing I felt on my heart that I wanted to share, like I mentioned about the pandemic, you know, I've really just been praying. I'm like, God, this thing has to come to an end. Like, how is this going to end? And I know people, we're trying with our human resources. We're doing what we know. People are praying and declaring and doing all these things. We've gotten prophetic words, many of which we have not seen seen come to pass. Like, there were words like, this is not going to be a pandemic. And we're like, well, okay, so what do we do? And the thing that God keeps leading me back to is Second Chronicles, and I know you're really familiar with this prayer, but Second Chronicles 7, 14, well, not prayer, but scripture, where he says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will for- forgive their sin and will heal their land. This just keeps coming out to me because As I was growing up and when I learned this scripture, I took it as all of my brothers and sisters in Christ that were around me took it to be, you know, we would say, yeah, if the world would humble themselves, if the world would turn from their wicked ways, if the world would do this, you know, it's because all their sin. But no, it actually says, if my people who are called by my name. (laughs) So it's like the Lord is saying, Hey guys, wake up my children. Come on church, humble yourselves and pray. Seek my face, turn from your wicked ways and he'll forgive our sin and heal the land. And so this is what just, I keep being drawn back to this because you know, as we've gone through this crazy 2020 and 2021, whether it's the election, politics, um, the pandemic situation, masks or no masks, is vaccine or no vaccine, there's been so much pride and arrogance in the body of Christ. And I love the body of Christ. So I'm not here to say, you know, shame on the church. I'm not doing that. But I'm just saying I've witnessed it over and over again. And I'm like, we have got to drop our pride and we've got to lay down our weapons, lay down our swords, and we have got to love one another. You know, and I think too, the the prayer of Jesus, you know, when you asked years ago at Christmas, I said, Jesus, what do you want? It's your birthday. And I was led to John 17, where he prayed. He said, he desires our unity. He says, I and you, you and me, you know, and we are one with God and the Father. And you can go to John 14, 20, and, you know, he reveals that oneness. But the thing he wanted was our unity. And he said, so that the world will know that you have sent me. And so my prayer is that he gets what he prayed for over 2,000 years ago and that we would drop our pride and our arrogance and just lean into our oneness with God and with each other and love people and learn sacrificial compassion through this whole situation that we're in. And I feel like if we just humble ourselves and pray, seek his face, turn from the wickedness, turn from pride and idolatry and just drop it all and love I feel like we'll see a turnaround and I, I'm just asking for his mercy, you know, God intervene so that even scientists who are working really hard to try to solve this thing would go, wow, that's miraculous intervention. Like that's what I want to see. So that's what's on my heart. And I just wanted to share that with you. So I pray that that word, second Chronicles 714, just think on that and just see how God directs you, you know, to walk in that prayer. But thank you so much. Thank you for having us.